Hey guys, welcome back to Bubba Cards. This is Josh, and this is the weekly haul of everything that I found card-wise this week. I've been bouncing around to uh, some garage sales, went to a flea market, and uh, just trying to find some stuff. Haven't had a, a whole lot of luck, but this week I did find a few things. Starting off with these two wax boxes, um, 1990 Upper Deck and 1992 Leaf ba Baseball Series 1. I don't really collect either one of these sets, but... Um, I saw, I was at a garage sale and a guy had a bunch of old wax boxes and he let these two go for 10 bucks for the pair. Um, so I went ahead and picked those up. I don't know if I'm going to open them or keep them or you know, maybe make some videos about it. But like I said, I don't really collect those sets, but um, I'll take the I'll take the cards now for really just out of boredom. Uh, but we'll see what we do with them. Um, I went to another garage sale and found a handful of cards. And I bought a bunch of other stuff from the guy. And I asked him about the cards, you know, he had prices on some of them, and he just kind of threw them in. He's like, you can just have them if you buy everything else. So I basically got all these for free. Um, there's a couple uh, 1980 Ricky Henderson rookie cards. Uh, they're kind of beat to hell. Um, but, you know, I was going to see if he'd give them away for maybe five bucks each, but, he, you know, threw them in for free. So, you know, what the hell, I'll take those. And then... Uh, what year is this? This is 1975 Tops Fran Tarkenton. Um, I do collect these old 70s football and baseball sets from Tops, and I'm pretty sure I didn't have this card. I didn't have my checklist with me, um, but uh, I went ahead and took it. He threw it in the pile, and this also this Fran Tarkenton. This is 1970 Tops. Um, he tossed that one in as well, which was pretty cool. And then a 1970 Juan Marichal. I can't remember if I had this card or not. It does have a crease across there. And he had two bucks listed on it, so I was going to see maybe if you take a dollar for it. But like I said, he threw all those in for free, so pretty cool. Took those. And then I went to a flea market, the Santa Clarita Flea Market in Santa Clarita, California. And I've been there a few times. I don't really find too many cards, but this time I did. There was a couple vendors that had uh, a handful of older stuff. And this guy gave me a pretty big stack here. I think I bought all of these cards for five bucks, which, you know, pretty good deal. Uh, it's a 1978 Andre Dawson Gold Cup card. The 72, yeah, 72 tops, uh, Jim Catfish Hunter. 70 Bobby Bonds tops. 1972, I get these football sets mixed up a little bit times, so but 1972 tops uh, Nick Bonacani, 76 tops Jim Hart, 72 tops Billy Williams, I couldn't remember if I had this card or not, and most of these cards are, you know, not in great condition, but um, I think he just kind of wanted to get rid of them, and I was happy to take them. Got a big stack of 1971 tops cards, and these ones are very hard to keep condition-wise. Um, but he threw them all in for five bucks, so I didn't I didn't have my checklist with me I don't know which ones I need or not, but I figured hey what the heck for that price I'll grab them and see if there's any that I need for my set or maybe a few that I can upgrade even though these ones aren't in a great condition We'll kind of run through these real quick I didn't even really look at them there wasn't Wasn't too, anything too spectacular, but you know I figured for that price I would kind of just take the take the whole lot and see if there's anything I needed Kind of slowly getting the 71 set put together. I'd say I'm maybe, maybe 50% there right now. It's one of my, uh, it's one of the harder 1970 sets to, to find, especially, you know, in decent shape. I mean, my, my set's not mint by any, any standards, but I do try to get them without too many creases. Um, but it's really hard to find anything because of the black borders. I'm honestly, I just don't see him that much. There's a milk pappus. So as you can tell, a lot of common cards. And I haven't checked. I doubt if there's too many high numbers or anything in here. That would be cool if we get a few of them. There's Dave Roberts. Woody Fryman. And 
and then he also had a handful of uh, 1968 or 1969 tops and these guys are in pretty rough condition too but he threw them in the pile with everything else for five bucks um, I'm pretty close to this set I think I have maybe 80 85 percent finished with it so I don't know if I'll need any of these cards or not probably not but I went ahead and took them and most of these are in really rough shape um, so I don't even if I do need them I don't know they may just be placeholders as you can see like you know these cards are really rough but he tossed them in the pile for me, so I went in and took them. So nothing too spectacular there. And then there was one other dealer, and he had a handful of stuff, and nothing was really marked, so I didn't want really to really sift through everything and then try to work out a deal. But I did find a couple, you know, John Elway rookie card and a Barry Sanders 1980 score rookie card. Uh, he, he gave me both of these for 20 bucks, which is uh, not a bad deal, I mean, for, for raw ones. I do have both these cards in PSA graded. Um, but they both looked like they're in pretty good shape. And this is, I found these before I found anything else. And I think I was kind of just bored. He had like 30 marked on this one. But gave them both for 20. So I went ahead and took them. Um, so that's everything that I found this week. A little mix of stuff. Um, I don't know if, all, like I said, I might open the wax boxes. Might not. Um, I just keep throwing them in my collection of unopened stuff. Um, but overall, found some fun stuff. Uh, it's been kind of kind of dry out there and I know a lot of people have been bored and buying up a lot of stuff so it's been tougher to find but had a pretty good week uh, let me know what you guys think if you found anything cool and we'll see you next time on the weekly haul